Hey, some of the video got erased. I don't know what happened, but there's there's still plenty of it. So we do the whole entire town, you guys, from Baldwin Lake to, to Fonskin. Um, and I find a bunch of little sledding areas for you guys, or I, I do my best. So check it out, enjoy, see you guys. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's February 13th, 2021 in Big Bear Lake, California. I want you guys to see the aftermath. Oh yeah. So we're gonna go to the, uh, we're, we're gonna do the whole whole valley, you guys, just so, just so you guys can get a good sense, because I don't want you guys to come up here and be disappointed, um, or come up here and there be more snow than you anticipated and you get worried because of driving and stuff like that. I just want you to be safe. So let's do this. We're gonna go to like Baldwin area and stuff like that. And this is obviously the main roads and it's Saturday. So we got some traffic, some tourism going on up here. And we're gonna avoid the main road. We're gonna turn up here on Fox Farm. There's Kmart. And it's closing eventually here. <coughs> so, all these people are going straight. We're gonna go right, you guys. This is Fox Farm Road. We're gonna take a shortcut to get over to Sugarloaf. So it's gonna be traffic like this all the way on the main road. So turn next to get the burger. That restaurant right there. And then take this all the way to you get to McAllister. And every the way I remember, <laughs> the way I remember McAllister is because Home Alone as a kid was one of my favorite movies. I think it came out when I was like 10 or 11. And uh, his name was, his last name was McAllister. Yeah, I know, I'm, I know, I know, stop it. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Besides a million things, besides two million and three hundred thousand, three, two, three things. Duh. All right, come on now, come on now. It's windy as all heck, guys. Look at this. It is windy, windy, windy. Oh, it's windy, my friend. It's windy again. It's windy, my friend. So look, you, you guys see the neighborhoods. We're, we're in one of the neighborhoods and you're gonna get a little more snow. As I say, the main areas of town where we get the most commuter traffic type stuff, they, they, they not only like shovel the snow out of areas, they remove it. They completely, like they bring a bunch of trucks and they completely remove it. Like 50, 60, 70 trucks at three in the morning, huge dump trucks and they just spray all the snow, fill up the dump trucks and they go dump it somewhere. They should dump it in my backyard. That'd be pretty cool. Have like a 100 foot, 200 foot high freaking little mountain. But yeah, we're on Fox Farm. It's very nice and very nice today. 42 degrees. And I'm at ease. Playing with my cheese on my knees. I'm begging you, please. <laughs> All right. Oh, this guy better not turn left. You better not turn left before me. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty then. Now, this street coming up here is called the street coming up here. I can't remember. Um, Sugar Pine. Sugar Pine. So you make a literally like a. Just a left, right, real quick. Just a ba ba ba. Just a wham bam. Thank you, man. Type of a type of a sham. Come on, man. You you got this. You got this. You got this. Wow, that person went straight. Usually people turn right right here. So, dude, come on, dude. People have their signals on, lady. All right. I shouldn't get frustrated like that. I really shouldn't. I know. I know. I'm I'm not frustrated actually. I was just uh just pretending <laughs> so like someone like that I'm assuming might be one of my friends from from this from this channel because typically on these back roads everyone's like driving like crazy and it's unfortunate like I know you guys don't and I really appreciate that but you can tell on the back roads who lives here oh watch out doggy watch out watch out Watch out, little doggy. Oh, he's looking at the little two doggies. Oh, the little two doggies. That little chihuahua was huge. Huge. Little fat guy. He was cute, though.
But yeah, long, uh, what I was trying to say is that I think these people are probably not local because they don't know kind of like how the roads necessarily work up here. Um, I know that doesn't make sense because you're like, what are you talking about? They were following the signs, everything. They are doing everything right. I'm the one who's a jerk. I wasn't trying to be a jerk. I'm just explaining that uh, I can tell the difference between people on the back roads who are locals and people who are not. And I guarantee you, you guys are the ones who are extremely respectful of these roads back here through these neighborhoods like this. I know you guys are. But yeah. Can you guys just hang tight a sec? I just need to pull over real quick. Adjust, adjust myself real quick. Hang on. Or, not adjust my, adjust something. Hang Sorry on. about that guys. Okay. Here we go. And oh, my soul, so weary When troubles come And my heart burden be And I am still Way here in silence Until you come <laughs> I don't know why I'm singing Josh Groban right now, but just sit a while with me <laughs> You drive me up to Big Bear Lake In the San Bernardino National Forest We're going skiing all day and night I hope we run into Nick Cause he's the coolest guy up there He is the best and he loves all you too. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. I'm trying to sing you guys a love song and stuff, and just being so nice, and, and then you guys are all laughing at me. You guys are all laughing at me. Stop laughing at me. Oh, they're all gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. <laughs> oh, man. When I am down. So yeah, we're going through the neighborhoods. You can see there's like, there, there's snow. There's some hills and some snow. But as I said, be very, very, very cautious, you guys. I have no problem with you guys just driving around, obviously finding a place to go sledding. All I ask is that you guys please be very cognizant of any signs that are warranting not going in, like no trespassing signs and stuff like that. Like this area, look, there's a bunch of people skiing, sled or not skiing, but you can get in through the wall there there's a couple holes in the wall here i think there's originally a, a, a no trespassing sign but i think they gave up on it <laughs> seriously but still you guys even if you see other people doing it like if i jump off a bridge does that mean they used to jump off the bridge now <laughs> no so yeah just if you see people trespassing and stuff um, don't get the idea like, oh, they were, uh, they got some sort of, uh, okay to do it. Don't, don't think that please. Cause I, I don't want you guys to get any tickets, get in trouble. Worst case, get shot. Like no, no joke, man. Like private property. If someone comes onto my private pro, like, like goes into the privacy part of my area, like I'm going to stand my ground. I'm not going to start shooting, <laughs> you know, like, of, of, of course not. But the whole point is that I, I want you guys to be super, super careful. And when there's a lot of snow or when there's snow like this, it's harder to see um, all, all the time, the no trespassing signs, this and that. It's still very, very easy, but it just makes it more difficult. And especially right after the snowfall, because you'll get a lot of blowing snow. And like lots of times you can't even see that 25 mile per hour sign right there because the snow will be plastered against it. So just be very, very careful, you guys. I just want you guys to have a killer time, that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Just the most incredible time that you can be in this town and be here. I feel you. And when we go, we go to Sugarloaf. And when you find me, I'll be there. I'm building a snowman. 
getting a show, man. You guys, I, I really am just, like, I'm so in love with you guys, man. I really am. I'm in love with you guys. Like, seriously, you guys are the best. You guys treat me so well, show me so much love, so much respect. You guys lift me up when I fall. I just, I've, I've just, I've just never, never experienced better friends than this. Or, or family that's like this. My mom and dad, sure, but I've, I've just never had <coughs> this type of real, real love that I feel. And it's real for you guys, and I really love that. I love that so much. And that's <laughs> why I begin to sing. <laughs> that was, you making fun of me again? Sup? Sup? Hey, it's my favorite kind of wax right there. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, dog. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, it's a really good wax for your surfboards and stuff, but as a kid, um, one of my mom's other kids, I don't refer to him as my brother, one of my mom's other kids, the guy's just a toolbox. Um, he's a surfer, big time surfer, and he used to use this stuff, and as a kid, it was just the best smell ever. So I buy the air fresheners that are basically just the sex wax smell. It's just an air freshener instead of the hockey puck. So, And the hockey puck meaning that the sex wax, when you get it, it comes in the shape of a hockey puck. But anyway, yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're turning on maple going into Sugarloaf area. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, guys. Yeah, this is a very sad aftermath. There's nothing from yesterday that's here. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely. Absolutely nothing. It's just nothing. There's nothing left. <laughs> I'm really angry about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're uh, entering Sugarloaf. Oh, look how cool that looks over there. We do have some clouds rolling in. Look, they look like storm clouds, too. What is going on here? What is going on in this Baldwin? It's typical Baldwin, blue skies and beautiful. So we're gonna be going over there too, guys. All right. So just, 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 just hang on to your, hang on to your hats and glasses. Hang on to them hats and glasses, cause this here's the wildest ride of the wilderness. You guys know what that's from, right? Come on, come on. No, no, that's close. Yes, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland, you're right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's uh that is Big Thunder Mountain, man. When you're hopping in and then the voice comes on. Very Minnesota Sentados, por favor. And it's like, uh, please stay seated, and then it's Fair Minnesota Sentados, por favor. <laughs> and then he goes through his spiel and then he's like, hang on to them hats and glasses. Cause this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. So we're in the Sugarloaf area. I, there's a very, I'm a very Sugarloaf type of a guy. I like the Sugarloaf. It's a good place. Sugarloaf's really, really hit, hit and miss. Um, like you get some, some streets with just, it's just so beautiful and just peaceful. And then like one block down, it's like three in the morning you got some like freaking drug addicts walking down the street and stuff like checking your car doors and stuff <laughs> you know like um yeah sure love baby yeah yeah baby i'm not talking smack as far as you know actually i kind of am a little bit but yeah sugar love's got some of the best parts of town and some of the opposite show you guys why while I dig digging for gold as my mom would say like when I was a kid pull me down a Chevy <laughs> my mom's older though my mom's 78 and my dad's 88 they're very old and I don't mean to say that like I'm joking with you guys uh, they are older though and it's uh, 
it sucks for me because I want to have them around a lot longer and I'm it, it just makes me sad but anyway we're coming up to this area oh you know what hang on a second I gotta take this phone call real quick hang on or actually wait is this who I need to take the call from yes it is so you guys just hang tight okay we are in Sugarloaf we're on Baldwin or no we're on uh oh my gosh what is this street called Burton Barton okay hang on oh well guess who's back back again Nikki's back <laughs> Unsubscribe and tell your friends. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, man. What is wrong with this guy? I know I say that all the time. Like, what is wrong with me? And then I always tell you guys, like, not to say anything because there's plenty wrong. But it's true. It might not be a bad thing. Like, you know. I like to make fun of myself. Joke around. I want you guys to know that I don't fully mean it when I'm making fun of myself and stuff. I just don't. I've learned to not take life seriously until I absolutely have to. And uh, I used to just, I used to be overly like uh, taking life too seriously. So I would just be just uh, not, not a happy camper all the time. And once I decided to focus on the rough stuff when it's absolutely necessary and take it seriously, and then everything else, just have fun and enjoy life and smile and laugh as much as I can. You know what? Everything's changing for me because of that. It's just these little tiny simple things, you guys. And look at this tree straight ahead just blowing like a mug. Like a mug. What's up, mug? Just blowing like a mug. Look at that, just blowing like the mug that you are. You're a very big mug, my friend. Okay, okay. Sweet. Okay, we're passing by my friend's house, so I need to honk my train horn real quick. Say hello. Just say hello, 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 if he's there. Nope, they aren't there. Dang it, dang it, dang it. They're such cool people. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. <laughs> like a lot, guys. Like a lot. Anyway, so yeah, we are in Sugar Loaf. Oh, yes, we're in the loaf. We're in the loaf of sugar. Yes, we're. Oh, yes, we're in the loaf of sugar. And so, what we're gonna do, I can't believe it, guys. Someone up here who I met, I don't know if he's like customer or something, but the, like on our last uh, snowstorm, he's like, hey, dude. Oh, he's like, you make those freaking videos? That's so cool. He's like, hey, do you wanna use this video that I made? Like, like I, I was at the bottom of Maple and like all these cars were like sliding and crashing and stuff and like, I was telling him, hey man, thank you so so much, but like 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 that's just that's just uh, <laughs> uh, I appreciate it and stuff, but I'm good, man. I'm good. Like uh, I would feel weird if if like I didn't record it. Well, I wish I would have freaking grabbed it because the guy's got like a million and one hundred thousand views. <laughs> like I couldn't freaking believe it. But it, it's just, it's what the guy's got one video and it's like, he just, he posted it on YouTube just to entertain people and the thing got a ton of freaking videos. He even got over a thousand subscribers just from posting one video with zero intention of like anything like this happening. And I guarantee you, he's, he's not gonna post other videos, but it's just super cool. Like that's how this this whole thing works. Like that is, but I, I had a chance to have a video that would have over a million views. I, the, the, the closest I have is like 130,000. It's pretty pathetic, but um, I do have like 2 million views overall on my channel, but other than that, yeah. It's, uh, anyway, we're back on, we're on Highway 38 now, ladies and gentlemen. We're on Highway 38 now, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen and lady. But yeah, so I was, I was like, geez, I just could not believe it. Like after like day three of that video, that's when I like saw it. It, it, it like popped onto my suggestions. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me, dude. You've got to be kidding me. Like you have got to be kidding me. But anyway, that's, that's what happened regarding that video. That video could have been under my damn channel, but that's okay. I feel good that like, dude, I would not feel good about myself if like my most viewed video is because someone else's video like that's just not not me but I I would have loved to to have that because that video would have brought 
more of you to this channel just to witness just how mellow this is, how chill this is, how cool, well, not how cool I am, but just how mellow I am for the most part, except for when I'm acting a fool, which is, I guess, all the time, but. Yeah, so we're on Highway 38. We're gonna go through Baldwin, you guys. We're going through Baldwin and Baldwin. We're going through Baldwin and say Baldwin. Um, it's 40 degrees. It's 2.38 in the p.m. It's 2.38 in the p.m., guys. You know what that means. It means in an hour and... No. Oh, wait. <laughs> an hour and, what, 42 minutes? It'll be 4.20. I'm a child. I need to grow up. Look at this beautiful little area here in Baldwin. Look at that. If you had a house right there facing that that direction that you see, that mountain right there, that Sugarloaf Mountain, it, it just feels like you're in a different part of part of the San Bernardino National Forest. It's really cool. And part of this, this area over here on the right has like some small hills that hide the neighborhood over there. So if you didn't know the neighborhood existed, you wouldn't even know. And at the same time, when you're in that little neighborhood, you're almost surrounded by like mountains. And it really feels like you're not in Big Bear. Uh, just just how just how it feels obviously big bears full of mountains but you're completely surrounded and there's no other spot in in town where you feel like that it's really cool it's very cool man very very stoked that we have such cool unique topography here so over here is a place for sledding this is one of the two or three places that i suggest um when we have more snow but this still might might be enough unfortunately they've they put no trespassing right here it used to not be like that but they 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 put the no trespassing right there and i thought that officer was was gonna pull tur like turn around and pull me over because did you see him like swerve over so fast like i was doing something wrong i hope i wasn't doing anything wrong i don't i don't think i was speeding yeah i'm going 27 and the speed limit is 35 but yeah, so anyway, I was saying on the right-hand side there, you'd, you see no trespassing signs. Um, those used to not be there, and that fence was not there. But there's another spot right up here on the right-hand side. Look, so so this is Baldwin. This is what you're, you're basically at the bottom of this hill. When you come into to Baldwin, you'll see right up here on the right, there will be some spots where you can start to park um, if you can get over on, 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 on the side enough and then climb up the hill and just sled down. Watch out for the trees. But here's the opening right here, you guys. Oh, look, there's people here. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's moving. Oh, that's perfection personified. Oh, that's so cool, guys. See, that's the, that's that's one of the spots, and there weren't a lot of people there. That's very, very cool, because this is this is the opposite side of town, you guys, so a, a lot of people are just going to, they're, they're going to want to stay around their resort and stuff like that, and I'm sure you guys get that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy. Oh my. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me? Do you have any gray poo poo? <laughs> oh, it's so windy. Guys, it is really windy out here. And Baldwin, this, this part of town gets ridiculous amounts of wind. That's how it sounds out here all the time. And then I always tell you guys right here, they filmed a Super Bowl commercial three or four years ago. And then I came back here and did a video copying the Super Bowl commercial. It's pretty funny, but it has like no views. But that was back when this channel was still like a year or two new. Or like I like there was zero zero focus on like any type of like making money. And still there's really zero focus on that except for I've I've monetized my channel because you know it, if I can get a little bit of like extra help. Um, without the, the donations, then that would be what I would prefer. But yeah, look at That's where we came from. It looks pretty nasty out there, doesn't it, guys? Oh, yes, it looks very nasty. Oh, boy. Then we got this side. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so windy and so cold. Yeah, it's so cold. But yeah, this
this is, I love this part of town, you guys. And a lot of you ask me about Baldwin Creek area. So when we get a big time rain, like, like serious monsoonal thunderstorms in the summertime, or we get just a ginormous amount of rain in the wintertime with snow and stuff, that lake will fill up. And all this property becomes lakefront property for like two months. It's really cool. But when it's filled up, it's a completely different feeling when you're up here. Just a completely different feeling. guys we are in uh as i said baldwin zero snow over here i mean none absolutely nothing i mean when that's right there there's a snow in there but i don't mind i don't mind nothing <laughs> este lado de, de big beer nunca tiene mucho nieve nunca um cuando mi casa tiene como dos feet you uh dos pies de, de nieve aquí solamente como dos inches nada hay nada aquí y lo siento porque mi español no no es muy 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 bien yo entiendo todo pero yo no puedo hablar muy bien nomás yo no sé por qué uh, yo creo es porque mucho tiempo y yo no soy hablando español pero yo me gusta muchísimo yo me gustan los los personas de, de méxico uh, mucho mucho respect uh, y yo, yo, yo quiero a ganar la, la respect uh, si yo puedo. Um, it's muy importante to try, right? Like, yeah, absolutely. So thank you guys for being so, so cool. Gracias a todos para oyéndome y uh, uh, habiendo este canal porque es muy importante para mí. Um, y es, es, es mi... Uh, mi corazón es muy, muy, muy grande porque personas igual que tú. Thank you. Thank you guys so much, man. I do the, I do the best I can. Um, I know my Spanish is kind of pathetic, but I really do try. And as I said, I understand everything pretty much in Spanish. So I just have a hard time speaking. I can read Spanish fine. I have a hard time writing though. Oh, hey there. Hey there. But anyway, mucho gusto. I love you guys a lot, man. Thank you guys for everything. Anyway, we're exiting Baldwin right now. That sounded kind of uh... a... <laughs> okay, anyway. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Here we go. As I say hello. Hello. Okay, so when you guys are coming in from Lucerne Valley, Apple Valley area, you're coming in from this direction on Highway 18. So this is what it's gonna look like when you guys come into town. Literally, it's right here when you get up to the top of the mountain. So we, it's as if you just got into the Big Bear Valley. And now we're gonna head into the other side of town. And look, see, the Big Bear snow rule type thing. Look, see, the clouds are over there, but then they just don't extend over here. It's so cool. It is so cool, guys. Like, it makes me so excited just to talk about it. <laughs> I just am a weird guy. I'm kind of weird on some days. It's it's Saturday and I got a good night. I got a good night's sleep for the first time in some time. So I'm feeling a little bit on the good side right now. Yeah, just kind of right now. Just a little bit on the good side right now. I really feel good. I feel happy. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I feel blessed. I feel loved. I feel happy. Um, I feel not so indifferent as I used to. I'm just very, very grateful for you guys, man. As I say, I'm gonna do these videos anyway. Um, but knowing that so many of you love what I do, it's just, oh my gosh, like it, it like makes me cry. It really does, it and it warms my heart so tremendously, and it just makes me wanna do this for you guys so much more. It makes me so happy. But look at this freaking view, guys. This is epic, epic sun. This is the epic sun view right here. So that's Baldwin over there in the neighborhood. And yeah, you see 
see there's no snow. There's zero snow over there. Yep, there it is. There's the Baldwin area. And you guys are at the point of like, dude, you are so annoying. I'm gonna kick your teeth in, you know, next time I see you. Please don't, please, I beg of you. I don't want these teeth kicked in. Please, <laughs> no teeth kicking in. But yeah, this, this gets full when we get really big rain or really huge snowfall, and then it'll this lake will be full. For uh, The most I've seen it full was for two months. That's the length of time that I've seen it full. But yeah, let's just keep a view back here. That's just so cool. I hope I don't drop the phone. Yep. Husa malaka madinga. Homa Okay, now we go back this way and we're getting more cloud. Oh, we're getting more cloud. It's the cloud that's finding down the day. I will be and see. Okay. 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 That's okay. That's okay. These guys, is this guy stopping in the middle of the street? Okay, good. I'm glad he's not. That's not like a good spot to, to freaking do. What a Barney, man. Pull over where you can. Because if he goes a little bit further, he's going to get his, his front tire stuck in that little ditch. And I don't want to see that happen because then he's going to be stuck. Thank goodness it's not icy, though, because right there, that's, that's one of the most dangerous... Believe it or not, one of the most dangerous corners in town, even though it's it's not bad. There's it's not like in, there, there, there's no undulations up or down. It's just for some reason it, it gets really icy over there. It gets really shady area over there. So just just be careful over there. I'm sure they'll be fine, especially since there's no one no ice out here for for other cars to slip in into them. But guys, I really beg of you guys not not to do that. Um, if you can or not not if you can like if it's an emergency and you cannot make it to like this next turnout right here type thing then then of course there's nothing you can do but by golly please please do not do what those people did just pull over like with like half your car in the road not not too bright not too bright um, and obviously like I'm sure they were not too thrilled that they had to like do that but once again, it's it's nothing towards the people, you guys. Absolutely nothing towards them. It's because I do care about you guys. And that's where my frustration comes from. I don't want you guys to get hurt. I really love you guys, man. Like, I don't want anything to happen to you guys. So, like, never think I'm, I'm like, oh, he's just picking on us and stuff. No, it's got nothing to do with who you are at all. In terms of, like, a... a, like a you know, a local or a tourist, this and that. It's, it's, it has everything to do with that I care about you guys. So I guess it does have something to do with who you are, I guess, but you know what I'm saying. Look at that. That's where the clouds start. Look at that. That's so cool, man. That is just so cool. I love this so much. By the time we get to, okay, so look at, you see there's like no snow over here. Keep, just, just remember this. And then when we get over by the Big Bear Dam, it's the Big Bear Snow Rule. You'll see, guys. You will see. And you will wait, bro. Yes, you will wait. You will wait for me to be done. And I'll... Oh, hang on one moment, please. Okay. I'm so sorry about that. I sometimes get a little flustered. Anyway. This is a shortcut. So this is... This is called Edgemore, and we're gonna turn right on Lakeview. I believe it's, I, I don't know why, I always think it's Lakeview or Lakeside. It's not Whispering Pines. It's gonna be right up here. Oh, this is, no, that's Esther. It's just up here, like another quarter mile, and then we we make a right-hand side. It's, it's, it's like a fork in the road area up here. Oh, Notice those spots. And this is the park and the place where you can have lots of views. It's a very big uh, uh, arena, actually. I can't remember 
what it's called. But anyway, okay, so we are coming up to here right now. This is Lakeview. Look, see how it's like a big fork area? What the fork is going on here? So yeah, so then this is gonna take us all the way to Big Bear Boulevard, cutting off all that traffic. Watch this. But you guys are gonna love it. But you guys are gonna love it so much. We're gonna have some fun driving down the back roads. There's a place we're gonna stay soon. I think that's Lag Lagunita. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the heck it is. But it's a good place we're gonna stay. Look at sledding area. Look at this is a huge spot, guys. This is on Lakeview. Look at all these areas to go sledding and build snowmen. I didn't even think about this area. And look, it's no private property signs, nothing like that. Guys, that's a good little spot. That's on Lakeview. Basically near Lakeview and Edgemore. For those of you who want to find a good place to go sledding. This is obviously private property, but that looks fun though, huh? Man, unfortunately it is blocked off, so I suggest you guys do not go in there. Camp Tada. Tada! And then when you get up here, you're forced to turn right, because I think it'll say like, uh, not a through street or something, yep. So you're forced to turn right, so it's very easy directions, and this is Lakeview again. Turns on to, it connects to Lakeview again. There's the lake right there. My gosh, some of these houses, guys, right on the lake. Look at this, man. Unreal. That's awesome, man. I wish I had a house right there. I wish I did. But maybe when I meet my younger, rich bride, she will buy my uh, buy us a house. Just kidding. Just kidding. I want to be the one to do that. That would be such an honor for me. Guys, this is such a such a beautiful place. Such a fun place. Gosh, that lake view though, my goodness, guys. I'm telling you, like it's so different the feeling being out here than it is at my house because my house I have a canopy of trees above me so it's just depressing all the time it's dark miserable there's a bear right there that would be cool if it was real but it's not I thought it was real but he's not real, he's not real. so look at these guys right here see we just cut off all that traffic and then this is one of my favorite places to stay right here I love this place the frontier hotel i love it when i stay on the lake Other, otherwise it's, it's it's just a regular place oh man so a bunch of other people were trying to do what i'm doing cutting off all this traffic but what we might do is actually turn right if we get up here we'll turn right and then we'll go through the that's what we'll do we'll, we'll go through the village i'm gonna turn it off right now while we're in this little stop traffic love you guys man i hope you guys come up here have a good time I'm trying to help you guys find uh, sledding spots i don't really know of that many so uh but the little spots that i do know of i try to help you guys out with and give you guys the best directions and the best opportunity to have a good time so i appreciate you guys all right guys so we just made that turn off that street and we're gonna turn left into the village here yes we are Yes, we are. I'm more happy to do it. I like turning into the village. And then I want to stay up here too. Uh, obviously, you guys know we just stayed here a couple weeks ago on the left, that big resort right there called the Lodge at Big Bear Lake. And then one of the next places that I want to stay though, because it's really nice. It's one of the the nicer places also before we stay at like some of the other ones it's this place i'd like to stay here we just stayed here and i'd like to stay here at the club at big bear look at how beautiful this place looks man just beautiful but anyway look at all these people man it's crazy 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 Yeah, 
this is a little bit on the nutty side. We're gonna go through the Jack in the Box parking lot and try to pull a maneuver. But I don't think we'll be able to pull too well, but we're gonna do it anyway. It's not gonna be a shorter thing. It's not gonna cut off any time. It's just gonna get us. I just, I'd rather be driving longer and not in traffic. And I've got John La behind me. Number Johnny La. All right, so we're gonna be going into Yak in the Box parking lot. Yak in the Box. And I have the phone sitting down like that because I don't wanna be holding the phone while we are being tailed by an officer of the law. An officer of the law. It's an officer of the law. I was actually going to get something too, but now I don't think we are going to get anything. Actually, you know, you, you know what? Actually, yeah, we aren't going to get anything. We're just going to cut through. We're just going to cut through. We're going to cut through, bro. You, you're going to let, let me through. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. So what we're doing is instead of going down the main part of the, whatchamacallit, the village, we're... You know what? Actually, I didn't think we were going to be able to make a left. I thought there'd be too much traffic, but we'll be good. Or actually, forget it. We're going to do this anyway. So this is the village, and we're going to turn right here. And what we're going to do is go up to the top and then turn left instead of right like we usually do. So we are behind Big Bear Village now. And, uh, okay... Yeah, we're right behind the village now And up here you'll get a lot more snow um, Good places to come sledding up here too, guys uh, Once again, look out for the no trespassing signs At least I thought this was a good place to go sledding Maybe There's a lot more snow It's a little bit steeper right here than it looks So you could get a little speed going down that But it's not, it's not as steep as I thought but yeah, we're gonna make a left here on Cameron. On Cameron. Yeah, so it's gonna be on Cameron. Mm hmm mm hmm Then we're just gonna go down this, this route and eventually come up to, uh, we'll eventually hit Big Bear Boulevard. We'll be driving by the middle school and everything. I know you guys are so thrilled about that. I was so happy about that. But yeah, once again, we are behind the Big Bear Village beautiful little area up here you get a lot more snow up here than you do just in the village and we're only about a block away oh look at this this is an off-roading area too oh look at sledding oh look at that okay so what is this road okay you got we're on cameron guys okay you'll find it we're on cameron just just uh as much as i love to to help because i'm so crazy freaking busy it's it's so important that that you guys try a little bit on your own and then my help is just icing on the cake um, because like when you guys don't do any research and fully depend on on me I always worry that I'm not gonna like give you the like best possible and then like I'll feel bad or like this and that so um, you guys doing a little bit of uh, you know information gaining on your own is is, is huge because then um, I can help like uh, put the, the finishing touches on but I don't know exactly what you want to be doing or, or like uh, like what type I, yeah just uh, if you guys let me know a little bit what you're interested in then that's gonna help me to to kind of like uh, you know pick and choose what would what would be best and I, I, I promise you guys I'll never I'll never ever just like give you guys some just just uh, some, some tired answer or, or like something. I'm always going to give you guys an answer when it comes to having fun up here of something that I would do because I want you guys to come back. Like, <laughs> I want you to come back and have a good time. So we're on Pennsylvania. We're about to drive by the president's house. <laughs> funny guy. He's a funny guy. The next street is called
called Knight Avenue. Taco Bell is on the corner of Knight Avenue and Blowers is on the corner of Knight Avenue. Blowers is a ski rental place and uh, just winter stuff. It's, it's a cool, cool place. Okay, so these guys aren't turning on Knight like I thought they would. They're doing the whole back road, so that's cool. Yeah, guys, you see, there's 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 a decent amount of snow, but you, the the thing is, you got to come into the neighborhoods though, and like that's, like, you know, I want you guys to be here, having an absolute blast. You know what I'm saying? On Oak, I believe this, I believe this is Oak. Oh, that cop's he's right behind me again. He was gone and now he's right behind me again. I don't, I don't understand. What? He just disappeared again. That is weird. Oh, there. Now he's back. Unbelievable. I didn't do anything. Watch out, the big dogs. Watch out, the big dog. Yeah, you should be on your leash, buddy. Once again, entitlements. What happens if like uh, I'm thinking about something else? Sorry, I was gonna add, put two comp, two thoughts into the same process there. Hang on a second, I just gotta check this real quick. Hey, sorry about that, guys. I had to take that call. So now we're coming up to Ren W R E N, and this is what uh, yeah, this is basically where Brownie Lane starts on Ren here, and we're gonna take Brownie all the way back home. So there's Big Red Boulevard, all those cars going across up there, but we're turning right here on Brownie. It's gonna save you guys traffic, save you time. You know what I'm saying? 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 All right. Look at all the snow right here, though. It's pretty, pretty cool. Got a bunch of, bunch of snow right there. We got a bunch of snow right there, right there. We got a bunch of snow right there. This is Thrush, and this is the exit for Snow Summit. And Big Red Boulevard's right there, and Carl's Jr. is right there. And this is where Triple G would work out all the time and live, in that place right there, that boxer Triple G. If I was a boxer, I'd be called Triple X. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This guy's getting filthy, isn't he? Just a filthy bastard. All right, so this is where Snow Summit is, Summit Boulevard. Look at that, guys. There's Summit. Gorgeous, man. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then I can tell, I can see up here the Brownie parking lot. That's the satellite parking lot for Snow Summit. It is occupied it's being used right now so it must mean that there are a lot of people at the mountain right now um even though they are only allowing a certain amount of people in per day and you have to make a reservation kind of weird but it is what it is but it is what it is yeah that's the brownie lot right there guys and we're coming up to moon ridge road right now where we're turning right is moon ridge road i i Walgreens, of course. This guy's a moron. You're an idiot! Sorry, had to do it. Oh man, that sucks. I hate to see that little rear end action. Oh man. When you're on when you're up here having a vacation here, should we nail this box? Nope. We just passed my house and I'm so scared. Alright. We're in Moonridge, entering Moonridge right now, ladies and gents. I know this has been a long, long, long video. So please forgive me. We're just gonna make one little quick detour. Or actually, no, we're gonna go handle this first and then, and then I'm gonna shut this off. So we're gonna go drive by Bear. You know what, and we're gonna go through the neighborhood because these guys are gonna give me crap up here, I know they are. So 
uh, we're just going to avoid them. Go right by them. So they don't have, so they don't get the power trip on me. With their degree in parking management. Got a master's in, uh, in, uh, <laughs> I don't know, in parking. I know two wrongs never make a right, you guys. I really understand that. I've just so so often have like been that guy who's, who's, who's who run, you know, who gives it right back. And ultimately, though, it is true: two wrongs do not make a right. It's you know, it sounds stupid, cliche, but it is true. Stooping down to other people's level and behaving as such is just a. Uh, it's, it, it's not a winning recipe, but it feels good. It definitely feels good. And I shouldn't say that, but, you know, standing up for yourself feels good. But there is quite a, yeah. There's a difference between standing up for yourself and, uh, and following the two wrongs don't make a right. Huge, huge, huge difference. Okay guys, so we are almost to Club View, which is the road that takes you to the resort, Bear Mountain, and then it also takes you to one of my favorite sledding spots. It's one of the couple places that I tell you guys about, or one of the couple places that I know about, so that's why I tell you guys about it. Oh, that's what a Barney. Yeah. This Park in the middle of the street. As long as you put up signs, you'll be fine. Or cones, you'll be fine. Seriously. Seriously. I'm just kidding, guys. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. And that's very respectful to let other people know that, you, you know, you're, you're going to be there a while parking there. But anyway, sorry for being so annoying today, you guys. I'm just... I'm, I'm excited and bummed out all at the same time. Bummed out that we didn't get a bunch of snow. Excited that you guys are wanting to come up here and, ha and have a good time and spend spend some hard-earned money up here, man. Once again, like, like we depend on you guys coming up here and spending a lot of money. Um, but we don't want it to be just, just frivolous. We want you guys to enjoy the money spent. You work hard for your, for your money. That was me on my motorcycle. I used to ride my motorcycle when I was a cook at Bear Mountain. I used to ride my uh, my Yamaha R3 in snow, mind you, and I never ate it. Can you believe it? I'd be in three inches of snow on this road and on my motorcycle, and people would double take and triple take. Like, what am I seeing right now? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to my favorite sledding spot in 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 the town. In the town, man. So there's bear. If you make a left, bear right here. We're going to the top up here, which is where 2N10 is. Look at that sun. That is awesome, guys. Holy moly, holy moly, holy moly. Black hole sun, won't you go? I love this, man. And this house is adorable right here. Look at that. It would be a pain in the butt to get up and down the stairs all the time inside, but it's still a cool, cool looking place. Nope. So if you just go up here, you see where all those cars are, guys? That's where you want to go. We're not going to be let up because it's blocked off. But if you want to get up there, that's what you want to do. You want to just follow that to the end, and it was only another 200 yards up. So you guys can see with your own eyes up there, but that's where you go sledding. It's just past Bear Mountain, guys. Very simple, guys. Stay on Club View to the right when you're coming up to Bear Mountain up here, and just come up this way. The opposite direction of what I'm going right now. Just lovely guys, just lovely. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna turn right here 
next to Bear. This is called Gold Mine. So Gold Mine is just basically your entrance to Bear Mountain and the golf course. So here's the Bear Mountain. And here's the golf course, parking lot. But yeah, so this is pretty chill here. We got a bunch of people here. And then the snow looks looked good up there. Just so you guys know, even though all the new snow is melted, there's nothing. I guarantee you, you guys cannot point out any of the snow from yesterday because it's all gone. But uh, I don't want you guys to be concerned about any of this not seeing much snow because the ski resorts make snow. Every night we get our temperatures at or below freezing. They're they're always making snow, and that's pretty much every night this time of year. Like. Uh, a few days ago, we got down to 33, which was pretty strange to be that warm, but yeah. Anyway, that's the golf course. And then here's some more, like, uh, a, this is just a little dirt spot that says no trespassing, but people park here anyway. This, there's two signs that say no trespassing. Um, I don't know if you can get like a permit to park there, so I'm not gonna one, uh, once again get upset about it. Like, it would only upset me if it's one of us because you guys are very respectful and you, and and we have a good reputation because we don't do that that type of stuff. We might drive a little crazy once in a while, but we're we're gonna respect other people's private property. And so, it, if it was you guys, I I would be a little bit freaking disappointed, but. I know it's not. I know it's not, especially because I talk to you guys all the time. Like, you guys are just amazing human beings. I love you guys so much. And I respect you guys for showing us respect and love. So thank you again. And uh, I'm very, very honored. Anyway, we're coming up to some more golf course, some more holes on the course here. I love this golf course, man. I love it. I don't know. It's just so pretty. And then that, that view of the mountain right there. Isn't that beautiful, guys? I mean, come on now. It doesn't get much better than that. And there's the zoo, the new zoo. It's right on the corner of Big Bear Boulevard and Club View. And now we're going to go to my customer. Whoop, 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 whoop. Wow, 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 wow. Alrighty then, alrighty then, oh, oh, alrighty then, alrighty then. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, yo, here we go, yo. This costume, why do I gotta follow all these Barneys, man? Unbelievable, but I have to, it sucks. Here's Barney Central. It's a bunch of my local friends, I guarantee you. We're all just trying to get to the same place faster, and I love showing you guys how to get there faster too, because you guys deserve it. You guys deserve it. And we are coming up to Cougar. Turn on your signal, buddy. Signals are used to turn. <laughs> guys, I'm just messing around, okay? I'm in, I'm in a really good, look at that snowman. Dude, that is a snowman, guys. That is a snow, that is a damn good snowman. Great snowman! Wow, that was awesome. Just incredible. They spent a lot of time on that one, that was beautiful. Yo, Adrian, that's a beautiful snowman. Hey, Adrian, that. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right, hang tight, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you guys, so we just handled that real quick. And uh, yeah. We're gonna head back to the homestead and upload this video so you guys can see how much snow remains in these neighborhoods and in the Big Bear and the Big Bear Lake and the Baldwin and the Fawnskin. 
and everywhere we drive you get to see this now. oh my gosh that house was cool looking dog oh man seriously you guys when i drive really slow through all these neighborhoods like you should i really notice a lot more which is uh pretty much captain obvious speaking <laughs> well duh if you drive slower you're gonna be able to catch a lot more buddy i mean come on now it's pretty obvious stuff there pal But yeah, there's a good amount of snow back here. And then you get like a, a, a lawn like that or like that, there's nothing. But then this side, I guarantee you, doesn't see much sunlight. Because these trees are blocking it majority of the day. And then I've been to this, I haven't been inside, but I met somebody outside of that place one time and they were on vacation, they had a question as I was driving by, like, hey, do you know how to put on chains? I was like, I threw it in drive, it just bailed so fast. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, um, I didn't know, and I still don't know how to put on chains. I took chains off one time of, of my own car when they were put on. But other, other than that, I've never put on chains. And uh, no, I just, I'm not gonna say never will, but I won't because it's such a pain in the butt. At least for me, um, just laying down in the cold stuff, that's why I spent a couple extra bucks to like uh, get the tires and er everything I need to make it as, as good as I can, or just to give me a better opportunity <laughs> to not have to use tire chains. Uh, but what I have under uh, come to understand is that the more expensive the, the, the tire chains are typically, the easier they are to use, to apply, so. Anyway, we're, my house is on the other side of these trees right here, so I'm not far at all. My house is literally right there, on the other side right there. So we're just gonna go around real quick, and I'm trying to see if there's any place you can see. You can probably sled right there. That's like a little, a little sled. I didn't see any tres no trespassing signs. See, it's very difficult when there's not much snow left except for in, in, in the neighborhoods. It's very, very, very difficult because I want you guys to have so much fun and just create the best memories. And I'll, and at the same time, I want the locals to, you know, have their private property remain private and, uh, you know, enjoy their, their life up here that they chose to move away from the concrete freaking jungle down there to live up here in peace and harmony. Um, so it's just, it's just a, it's a two way street, you know, if I had to lean towards anyone, I, I lean to support you guys probably 51% as opposed to 49% for the locals. I give you guys the, the benefit of the doubt more often than not because uh, once again, without you guys, we are nothing up here. And I'll never forget that. And we're here on Moonridge Road now again, and we're about to call it a day for the after scrath. Anyway, you guys, I love you guys a lot. I hope you uh, kind of remember where some of those sledding areas are. If not, just go through the video and find it. I really want you guys to have a blast. And uh, go ahead, feel free to ask me questions. I love you guys tremendously. I'll talk to you later. February 13, 2021, in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Peace out, guys. I love you all.